And a good Monday to you. Of course, today is Veterans Day, and it does look like the weather is going to cooperate for any outdoor activities you have planned today. We did finally get some rain overnight, but the amounts were super light, under a quarter of an inch, and that rain is moving out quickly this morning. Skies are going to brighten. It is going to be a breezy and a mild afternoon in the 60s with a westerly wind gusting over 20 miles per hour. Colder air comes in tonight, so we're only in the upper 40s and low 50s tomorrow with lots of sunshine. It is windy tomorrow. Less wind, but chilly midweek in the 40s. We bring in more clouds late week. Watching the storm offshore to see if it can throw back any showers for us on Friday. Look, just in the past 24 hours here, not even a tenth of an inch of rain in Boston. A little bit more in Worcester. You can see down toward the Cape about a tenth of an inch. So, I mean, it's something in this dry pattern, but this is what we would need to catch up to average. Since the 1st of September, our rainfall deficit is about six and a half inches in Boston and eight and a half inches in Worcester. So we need much more. Unfortunately, we are not getting much out of this system at all. It's moving along pretty quickly. Last of the steadier rainfall here down along the south coast, buzzer Bay, the Cape, the islands looking at some steady light rain at this point to the north. Your steady light rain has passed, but there are some showers that have kind of redeveloped here north and west of Worcester stretching up uh, toward the route Two quarter Lemonster. This will be moving through Lowell in the Merrimack Valley Metro West. So still one more passing shower here this morning before we dry things out. It is going to clear out today and it is going to be breezy and mild for your Veterans Day as we pop out some sun this afternoon. Big cool down though coming for the middle of the week and all all the while, this dry pattern basically looks like it's going to continue after this morning. Not much for rain coming at us the rest of the week, but this front pushing on through is eventually going to bring in some cooler air, but we're actually going to wait for this front back here to come through tonight to really allow that cooler air to get in here. So it is mild to start this morning. You can see a lot of 50s across the northeast. In fact, it's close to 60 degrees right now in spots. We are sitting at 61 in Norwood, low 50s here up into the Lawrence area. The wind a little gusty this morning you step out, you're going to notice that it is gusting over 20 and 30 miles per hour from the southwest. That wind is going to shift around to the west by lunchtime, and that is pulling in somewhat cooler air. It's certainly going to dry us out, so notice how the skies brighten. We're 65 at noontime, and we'll climb a few more degrees this afternoon in the sunshine. Getting up into the mid and upper 60s could get close to 70 in a few spots south of town, but clearing it out, and we'll hang on to those clear skies this evening with just a couple of clouds rolling through in the overnight hours, so we will call it partly cloudy tonight. A little bit colder. We'll be down in the 40s overnight and tomorrow is a colder day. We will have mostly sunny skies, but it is going to be windy and chilly out through the Worcester Hills, the Merrimack Valley. We're talking upper 40s for highs, just low 50s closer to the coastline. So definitely cooler on Tuesday and that wind out of the northwest gusting over 30 miles per hour will add to the chilly feel tomorrow and Wednesday, even into Thursday. The story this week is going to be the chilly temperatures here, but it comes with a lot of sunshine Wednesday, a few more clouds on Thursday. And then this is interesting as we get from Thursday into Friday, a system approaching from the west dives to the south and misses us, unfortunately. But a storm offshore may try to throw a couple of showers back in our direction on Friday. Not exactly sure if that will happen, but that's what we're watching here. So that would be our only chance of any additional rain this week, and that would come on Friday before we clear things out and warm up back into the 50s this coming weekend. So overall, once we get this rain out of here this morning, it looks like the mainly dry pattern continues. All right, well, we'll take anything.